Hello and welcome to another Steve will fix it. Um, today we have a customer's um, HP Slate 7 with a broken USB socket. Um, let's see if I can show you the symptoms. Okay. Plug it in. Right. Nothing happening. Let's try pressing down on there. Sometimes you can get it to charge for a couple of seconds and it comes up with a battery error. And we're getting, we're getting absolutely nothing. Ah, there we go. Thumbs up. Alright, first thing to do is, um, let me just show you these incredibly tiny screws here. It's going to focus, but they are very, very small. So, I'll remove that panel and then we can get to work opening the case. So, let's have a go. Apologise for the rather strange camera angle and whatever on here. I've lost the uh, quick release um, tripod mount for my high def camera, so I'm having to use my iPad for this. Um, let's try and keep these all together. And remove the cover there. Safely to one side. Now, as with most of these things, um, there are no other, no other screws or anything. It's a basic clip to get the case. So we need to get into it. And the way we do that, a Teflon guitar pick, heavy gauge, uh, 0.9 mil and we work our way into the case. Uh, we'll start at this end, I think. Get in there somewhere. And the reason you need to use Teflon rather than jamming a screwdriver in there is so that you don't damage the case. There we go. And as the mad Australian guy says, we're in like Flynn. Right, what have we here? Okay, we've got the USB socket down here. Um, obviously I'm working on a conductive surface here because we're dealing with um, highly sensitive components. I'm not using a wrist strap because uh, I tend to keep myself in contact with the mat at all times anyway. And I hate using a wrist strap. Let's remove this piece of packing here. There we go. We can go with the rest of it. And there's the socket. Um, micro USB surface mount. And it's on a ribbon cable which goes right the way back to here. So, we're going to need to get in there and take up those two and these. I'm probably going to remove these speakers as well. These, these two are the loudspeakers. Um, so let's have a look what we've got. Okay. All right, I'm going to need to take this conductive tape up. This looks like it's been ah, it has, it has been repaired before by the look of it. That could make things a whole lot more difficult. Moving to 
sec. And I'll flip open the edge connector. Yeah, take that one out. Okay, now remove the speakers. Torque screws safely away. <coughs> Turn the speakers out. Try and remove him from underneath there. There we go. Okay. over a fraction of a second. <coughs> so once the new socket has been soldered in place, it's a fairly quick and easy job to uh, put it all back together. Basically, the exact reverse of the process we use to take it apart. Place our piece of packing. Keep that out of the way. And oops, upside down. Okay. Place the top cover. Pull that fixed. <laughs> 